Hello everyone, thanks for joining us here on Horizon. Well, Oklahoma is known worldwide for its top caliber horses as well as its top tier equine facilities. Recognized as the horse show capital of the world, it's home to all sorts of events. Yet you don't have to ride to be a fan of our four-legged friends. Oklahoma's equine industry is big business and one that has a financial impact on all our lives. From racehorses to those down on the farm, Oklahoma is horse country. It's part of our heritage. We get so many people that come here looking for the real West. Finding a thriving equine economy. Michael Carrier is the president of the Oklahoma City Convention and Visitors Bureau and says the horse industry is riding high in Oklahoma. Yeah. The impact to the to the state is is huge. Uh, I deal specifically with Oklahoma City, and of course, here in Oklahoma City, uh, between the show horse and the racing horse components, uh, it's it is probably in excess of 400 million dollars a year. Uh, certainly, with the show horse side, it's close to 200 million. I would expect that it's at least that much and probably more uh, with racing at Remington Park. And that doesn't even count the, uh, the farms, the ranches that we have in Oklahoma City and other things related to the industry. It's a huge industry for us here in Oklahoma City and a great one to have. Even associational headquarters are housed here, like the Pinto Horse Association of America. Daryl Bilkey is the executive vice president. Uh, we have our World Show in Tulsa which we bring 2,500 head of horses and we'll probably have an economic impact with that one event of probably 36 to 40 million dollars. And then we just finished another one we call the Color Breed Congress in Tulsa and we'll have 1,500 horses there and that'll have an impact of about eight to 10,000 dollars. So with our association and just our two national events that we have here has, you know, almost 50 million dollars impact. An impact that Representative Don Arms says encompasses more than just horse owners. You know, the jobs that are created, we've got uh, feed dealers, we've got farriers, we've got veterinarians, we've got you know, trailer manufacturers and distributors and just all the things that go, all the spin-off industries, if you will, that, uh, that support that industry. It's just a tremendous job creator. Krista Morris is with the National Reining Horse Association and says Oklahoma's equine industry brings dollars into the state. We have so many people that come in and they're here ultimately to show their horses, but they're booking hotel rooms, they're going out to eat, they're spending lots of money um, on everything from trucks and trailers to, to boots and cowboy hats and they make those big purchases and we have lots of European contingent that come in and they make plans to do a lot of their purchasing while they're here in the States because they know they get great product and have a great selection. People like show shows but they like to go do other things too and especially when they come to town and they're here for like two weeks you know they're looking for other activities to do so it's it's a big business clear across the, the board for all of us. According to Secretary of Agriculture Jim Reese, such commerce is a boon for local economies. Outside all of the buying, buying feed, buying hay, buying thing, water, things for the industry, tack, saddles, all the things that go along with the industry, there's $100 million of taxes paid to state and local governments. Since 2005, the Oklahoma State Fair Park and the Tulsa Expo Center have invested $250 million in improvements to their facilities, keeping riders coming back year after year. Our worldwide headquarters is located right here in Oklahoma City, and we host our two largest events in the sport of reining right here at the State Fair Park. And it's such a tremendous place to come and show our horses. It's the best of the best. And Oklahoma City and the state have done so much to improve the facilities, the riding areas, the stalling areas. We know they have intents to do more, and that just really makes it great for our competitors that come in from all over the world. They know they're coming to a, a perfect spot to show their horses. So when you add up all the economic impact generated by the Oklahoma equine industry, the total is over $3.6 billion, yielding roughly 35,000 full-time equivalent jobs. Now when we return, we meet an Oklahoma standard who was born in Africa.